what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The murderous cult leader Charles Manson struck up a friendship with a pen pal back in 2002. This pen pal first started reaching out to Charles Manson in the 1990s. He wrote 50 letters before Charles Manson finally replied to him in 2002, first with a phone call, and then the meeting started. He started visiting Charles Manson in California State Prison. According to a yellowing wheel dated February 14, 2002, Manson left all of his belongings, including his clothes and money, to the pen pal. Manson also left the man the rights to use his name and image and control of the songs he had written. The pen pal, who is not named, also had the right to claim Manson's body within 10 days of his death and told TMZ that he intended to do so. If he doesn't claim the body, then old Charlie is going to be cremated by the California prison system. Now, according to the will, Charles Manson specifically chose to disinherit all unknown and known children, former wives, family members, friends, and lawyers. This guy wanted to make sure that his pen pal got everything. The pen pal claimed to have last spoken with Charles Manson on October 21st. The will itself was typed, but it included some scrawled handwriting that supposedly matches Charles Manson's. It also included this message. I'm not in the best spot to rest in peace. This will was said to have been witnessed by one of Manson's fellow inmates. Manson spent his last 45 years in jail after sending followers known as the Manson family to commit gruesome murders. In the summer of 1969, he directed his mostly young female followers to murder seven people in what prosecutors said was part of a plan to incite a race war. Among the victims was actress Sharon Tate, the pregnant wife of filmmaker Roman Polanski. She was stabbed 16 times by cult members. A section of the wheel said Charles Manson, prisoner B33920, wished to have his body released to the custody of the pen pal, who was, quote, my one and only executor of any services, viewing, funeral arrangements, or otherwise, in his judgment of my wishes only, end quote. Manson also said that he was of sound mind. Imagine that, a serial killer of sound mind. Now, before y'all go in top heavy on this financial side of things, just know that the dude's estate is valued at $400,000. Because I know some of y'all sitting out there, man, how can he have an estate? And he's been locked up for the last 45 years. What's he going to do? Leave his toothbrush and draws? No. The dude was a writer. He wrote music. I think he did some drawings. And... His name and likeness is going to sell. Because you know, in America, you know, we love the drama. We love our killers, man. Well, we love us some killers. And so, although he didn't personally do the killing, he did some directing. And we love our director killers also. I mean, think about any former president. But yeah, we love that. So, it's worth something. I mean... As sad as it is, there are some sickos out there. We got enough sickos out there that we'll pay for that. They'll pay for his drawings. They'll pay for his songs. And there are people that will pay for the rights to his movie, his life story, and there are people that will watch it. I ain't gonna lie. I'll watch it. But I wouldn't pay for any type of memorabilia. I wouldn't pay for no damn song that he wrote or no port, no portraits or anything like that, I wouldn't pay for his damn jumpsuit. None of that. But we got enough sickos in America that will. Personally, I don't believe that he left all that stuff to a pen pal. I just don't believe it. 
this is a guy that he ignored for years. And he finally starts talking to the guy. Then keep in mind, he hadn't spoken to the guy since October 21st. We're talking about a whole month later after he died. I mean, that's not a whole lot of time, but still. And I saw something about him having a grandson. You know, why not leave the stuff to the grandson? I mean, I know why not, but I'm just saying. It just, it, it don't seem plausible. Keep in mind, this is a pen pal. This is a person who wanted to befriend a serial killer. That lets you know there's something wrong with that person anyway. That person is deranged. And then to say that an inmate witnessed the signing of the will, man, the people that's involved just is not credible. Who's to say that the inmate and the pen pal didn't conspire to get the estate after he died? Look, man, since I'm out on, in the free world, I'll claim the estate. But if you vouch for it and you say you witnessed it, then I'll make sure you're, you're okay once I get the money, once I get the rights to everything and the money start coming in. I don't believe him. Charles Manson was a very evil person. I'm surprised nobody didn't kill him while he was locked up. He must have been in isolation the whole time because... I just can't see a person like that being able to maintain that many years. I can't see myself doing time with a person like that, knowing what type of person he is, knowing what he did, and not at least having a serious conversation with him. I, I can't see it. Dude was worth $400,000. I mean, think about that, man. You got some people that's 45 years old and spent the last 45 years free that ain't got that kind of money. What does that say about us as a society? Charles Manson was a racist, vile bag of human waste. And I'm glad he's dead. I would say feed him to the hogs, but why poison the hogs? Rest in piss, you piece of shit. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order in Texas.